सो हे गाइज बिफोर यू गेट इन टू टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोना रिक्वेस्ट यू फॉर वन सिंपल थिंग टू प्लीज मेक योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल बिकॉज ओनली इलेवन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हु वॉच इज माई वीडियोज डेली हैव सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड ट्रस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डोंट हैव सो इफ यू आर वन ऑफ दैम हु हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल येट सो प्लीज मेक योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड एन्जॉय द वीडियो more traditional hybrid attack the yeti is going to come out of that blimp pull out the clan castle and destroy some of those key defenses it looks like a scatter shot did go down from there and then no queen charge on this one and we're kind of yeah. seeing that become a thing no queen walk no queen charge just more of a mass hybrid to push through these bases yeah exactly decides to go away from that queen charge but look at this he does have one of valkyrie to use there is the poison spell baby dragon which is going to pull, pull these foul or these headhunters all the way across and the valkyrie can help take the headhunters down and they're just standing outside of the range of the poison there we go going to help take them down the yeti's going to be able to help potentially grab that tesla there and move his way in and he's trying to set the funnel over on the left side with the king and the queen clears that clan castle and going to send the hybrid which is 21 minor than 14 hogs no healers straight into this town hall here, Bash. That's right. Has a nice straight direct path to the town hall. Tons of skeletons popping up near that queen, but these miners will activate that town hall, and then the hogs should come over and help take it down. Actually, the hogs just breezing right on past it, so possibly here come the hogs back. That's good to say. They possibly be able to save that warden's ability, but the hogs coming back, you want to make sure you use that warden's eternal tome to protect those hog riders as they push through the backside of this base. That scatter shot's getting ready to go down. The enemy queen goes down. Freeze on the eagle. Still a freeze and tons of spell support here, Carbon Finn. This is looking really good from Franco from Nova Esports. Lots of heals, lots of troops still remaining on the back end push of this attack. Yeah, there is one troll Tessa over at nine o'clock on the left side there. And the, the Royal Champion still has their ability. One heal left to use and one headhunter. I mean, he's got a minute left in this raid trying to charge, th charge his way through and through the backside. And the queen is moving around beautifully, cleaning up the bottom side, but still has to make his way all the way back around. This headhunter can actually be used on cleanup now that all the heroes are down. So usually in one archer as well, if he's got the time, he should be able to make his way all the way back around. And it's looking fantastic here for Franco. It's looking really good. That headhunter comes in on that corner. Tesla does not get it down, but still a ton of miners up that got the queen going strong behind them. The warden doing a little bit of tanking from that archer tower. It's just going to be a time factor of these miners getting through these last few structures and then going all the way back across for that Tesla and that builder hall, uh, builder hut rather with 18 seconds. There should be plenty of time oh. for them to rush on over there. Can they make it carbon Finn? This is looking really nice. Oh, they're pushing all the way through the miners. Are they just quick enough? They're trying to get there. Just the Builder Hut and the Tesla is remaining with just under five seconds. And there we go. Can they get it with one shot of the Queen? And he gets the three star to kick off this war for Nova Esports. What an attack all the way down to the final second. Wow, that was really, really close. Those miners able to speed directly over, take out that hut and that Tesla. Putting the pressure on 11 original early, that's exactly what you need to do if you're Nova. Get that triple early, make it happen, and keep up those consistent attacks. That was a very nice push through here. No queen charge needed on it. Just use those hybrid, the hybrid troops to push right on through the middle of that base. Use all those heal spells, tons of heals on that one, and it worked out for Nova there, Carbon. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of times you tend to always take healers for the queen when you're using the hybrid, but they get it done right there. And now time to jump into the next attack. And here we go. Eve Kali coming in with the drag bat. He's going to try to push his way from the top side with the king. And I don't know unless he uses the queen up there as well. Usually you want to send the king and the queen on opposite sides when you're using the dragons in between to push their way all the way to the town hall. You have to take note, where are the sweepers? One's pointing down towards 7, the other is towards uh, 10, 11 o'clock. So you can fly all the way on the right side and not get pushed back. That's right, Carbon. We have that king working down there. It looks like we have a blimp select selected initially, so we may see that immortal blimp come in using that warden's ability to keep the blimp up to get to the town hall. We do have that queen coming in right behind where that king cleared out, looking to get out this air defense here, and then we're going to have the royal champion 
followed up with a baby dragon on the opposite side. So we're going to set that funnel really nicely for these dragons to fly in and have a pretty direct path through this base. And then we'll likely see those bats on the back end. We did see that king get down that wizard tower, which is key when you're using bats. Yeah, and does drop the giant all the way up top, and there's a wizard behind him to help take down that air defense over there. The blimp is gonna fly all the way to this town hall. The queen, the king actually went down on the backside over on the left there, but here comes an inferno dragon with headhunters going straight for the warden, but he needs to take out this town hall, but still has bats to use in the attack bash. Yeah, here come the bats, Carbon Fin, from the bottom side of the base. They're gonna work around. We got three free spells, which is gonna enable those bats to get through those wizard towers without taking mass amounts of oh. damage. The wizard tower gets frozen and those bats are working through, doing their best. The single inferno is burning up those dragons and here comes an eagle shot. You do not want that eagle to lock onto the bats. Another freeze comes oh. down on the wizard tower. Oh no, Carbon, the eagle no. locked onto the bats. Yes, the eagle locked on, but the bats, a few of them actually got in the range of the eagle artillery went up top, but they're just not gonna have enough and I wonder if that first freeze was a little bit late because that wizard tower did hit several of the bats there. And now Eve Kali is looking to add a little bit more percentage into the 80s here. But Nova started off the war here with a three star and really great performance. And we saw from the first war, Urox Gaming went down. They won, but they were from the winner's bracket and they got eliminated. And now 11 original, they are from the winner's bracket as well. And now they are now at risk of getting eliminated to here in this playoff match. Eve Calais, unfortunately, not being able to bring it home with a two, two star 82% attack. Nova Esports coming out of the gate, swinging with their first triple from Franco. What an incredible start to this match and exactly what we've come to expect when it comes to the semi-finals of this qualifier bash. That's right. This attack just did not quite work out for Kali. Not able to get towards that eagle and the bats just getting hung up here and being targeted by that eagle artillery is never good. They did dodge it, but just not enough to push through the back end of the space with those remaining dragons. Carbon, uh, 11 original is going to be up against the ropes moving into this next attack. Nova can really put the pressure on with a high percent or even a three star here from Garrix. Looks like we got a Lalo attack. Yeah, we do have the law with one Skelly spell as well on the poison. They're going to be deciding to use the King, Ice Cone Queen up top to help remove the enemy queen over here. To help try to set a bit of the funnel. And we have one, it does look like he has a blimp. The town hall is all the way in the core. And the, the biggest thing is when I look for is I look, what type of value can I get with lightning on a clan castle? It does not look like there's any with that in the bottom side, but the queen the queen is charging her way into the top side. The royal champion is going to, she already popped her ability there, takes down the single, did find a tornado trap that, so that is really good. But can he still get that enemy raw champion out? But the eagle is going oh. down, uses the freeze. The eagle does go down there. Oh no, it's oh, almost the eagle one did not away. go down, Carmen. It barely oh, stayed up no. there. Not only that, but the enemy royal champion stayed up as well as the wow. Lalo phase comes through here. You'd like to see that eagle come down. The eagle's gonna get a few shots before the balloons can get to it. But more importantly, that that Royal Champion stayed up, which is going to cause some massive problems. Here comes the Lalo phase working right through as a pretty direct path towards that Town Hall. We have the Blimp coming in as well behind everything. Oh man, that Eagle did some massive damage. It was like one shot away, yeah. but it staying up was huge. Here comes the Blimp getting that Town Hall down, but the Warden ability going to save the Balloons, Carbon. Yeah, the Warden ability over the Town Hall was perfect right there. Drops some haste on the outside, does freeze up the scatter, but he free no, he freezes the cannon. Oh, pretty much gonna be a swag freeze right there. Does have one more haste. This is looking really solid as the balloons are flying around. Hopefully he doesn't find any other red air bombs or a lot of traps to get his way through because the biggest threat is now the wizard tower and the air defense picking off. Down goes the AD. Can these balloons make it through here, Bash? Carbon, only a wizard tower and that archer tower remaining here on the backside. We got tons of cleanup working through here for Garrix. Nova looking like they're in the driver's seat. Oh my goodness, Nova going full throttle, hitting back to back three stars here with the Lala. What an attack from Garrix. Wow, that did not go as, as he planned with the Sui from the heroes, but still had enough to get through here and get the three star. Those balloons all so powerful. 
tons of cleanup. Oh my goodness, one attack. That was very, very clean from Garrix. 11 Originals is going to be up against the ropes here, Carbon Finn. They have to get a three star here, you would think, right? Yeah, man, what an attack from Nova coming in, getting it done. Yeah, exactly. 11 Original now need to answer the call. And we were talking, I talked about it earlier, how 11 Original's bases were so good in the first two days, but right now they l let up the back to back triples. Oh man, I wonder what, what 11 Original is going to have to do. They're going to have to be taking those risks now and going for those triples because of the deficit. That's right. You're, you know that you need three stars moving forward. Two stars, you got to get those percent if you're only going to two star, but you really need to get a couple three stars here because Nova can secure this. If 11 original doesn't get a three star here and Nova does, that can really, really throw things off. A really strong performance from Nova. I know we were worried kind of coming in here, going into this war, how would Nova perform? But they are living up to the hype. They're living up to the performance. And it looks like we have a zap Yeti hybrid, uh, Zap Yeti attack yeah. here. No hybrid. I don't know why I said hybrid, but Zap Yeti's here, Carbon. Yes, the Zap Yetis are indeed with this Grand Warden going to be able to help set the funnel over on the top side. And that's the biggest thing with the Wardens on the top. It takes a very long time, but you want to try to get as much value as you possibly can with the Lightning as you're going to be able to push it through. And remember, you got to get into the town hall, which he does have a super wall breaker to break that outside wall, and then a jump to get deeper into the core. And that balloon, how in that seeking air mine, which is beautiful, going to help protect the healers as they are going to move off. And you want those healers to help transition off to the yetis and bowlers to help protect them. A lot of times, those lava hounds stall up the queen and keep them behind far back, but uh-oh, is the Yetis, are they gonna bet? Oh, they are gonna go in because of the wall opening up top. It does drop the jump. The CC is coming out. Needs to pop this Grand Warden ability over the town hall to protect him here, Bash. That's right. The, the Warden pops and saves those troops right there. Balloons working through. Yetis pushing to the middle of the base. We do have that Royal Champion coming, coming in at that three o'clock position here, Carbon. Gonna push through a strong start from this attack. Those Yetis still really healthy. Tons of bowlers up. That Queen is stuck on the pups. And here come Hog Riders out of that Siege Barracks. This is looking, looking like it has a great push through the back end of this attack. Here we go, Yetis and Bowlers with the healers on them. That healer switch is going to be massive. Here we go, Royal Champion coming through. Hogs coming through as well. There's only a few more defenses here, Carbon. This is looking super strong. Can E-Vision get the three star? Did have a triple in that last war against Unicorns of Love. Looking to live up to the hype. Oh my goodness, it is looking strong, Carbon. We're gonna have a three star response from E-Vision of 11 Original. Beautiful job. They needed to get it done. And there it is. 11 original going to be getting this three star. All the defenses have been removed now. And it's a matter of cleanup. What an attack, especially after the back to back triples from Nova. Man, 11 original had to get it done. And that's exactly what they did. Beautiful job. Man, 11. The pressure is getting higher and higher now, Bash. Yeah, that, that's a massive response. That's exactly what they needed. This will alleviate some of that pressure being down two, three stars to none, but now it would be two, three stars to one. So they are still very much alive. Still anyone's ball game. Nova going to look to secure and push through stronger with that next attack, Banks. E-Vision can now take a deep breath because 11 Original are back in this one. Yes, of course, Nova Esports putting in back-to-back -back triples. And there you go, 11 Original have just answered back with a right hook. A very fortunate set of circumstances circumstances we're gonna have to see how this one plays out but what a strong start from Nova Esports Carbon yeah unbelievable start like you mentioned there they're going they went perfect two for two so far but 11 original had to answer and they did exactly that now can Nova keep that momentum going and get a third a triple we'll have to see because 11 original defenses haven't been holding strong here in the playoff match I'm wondering, did they use their best bases for the beginning to get them to, to this moment? Or are they still, are they using now their best base at this one to get them to the Grand Finals bash? 
That's right, Carbon. It looks like we're going to have a Zap Lalo, more of a traditional Zap Lalo. I know we've seen some variations of that this weekend, but going to go ahead and zap out that clan castle. When you see the seven lightning spells with an earthquake, most of the time the target is going to be that clan castle. Being able to get that clan castle out and not have to deal with those enemy reinforcement troops is a massive value. So Tomas95 has had, I feel so bad for Tomas, has had those two 99% heartbreakers looking to bounce back and perhaps get over the hump and get the three star. We have the super wall breaker coming in. Those heroes working through here. Looks like the hero are going to try to get in and get towards those scatter shots, Carbon. Yeah, going to try to push his way through with the king and queen because two scatter shots right next to each other can be huge value as he can help try to take it down. Remember, that eagle artillery is going to be standing all the way in the core. The biggest thing you have to look at is going to be the pathing, and he's going to send the wall wrecker, and that's going to be going for the town hall here. Yeah, that's right. We've seen this as a sort of a new shift here. Rather than have to fight in there with a blimp, we'll have the wall wrecker come in and be a little bit safer. And that wall wrecker is going to have a direct path. Only one wall to break through to get right into the town hall. And then we have those sneaky goblins coming up. Then poor dragon gets obliterated there. But the sneaky goblins had enough to get that town hall down. Here comes the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. Still has the enemy queen up along with that eagle artillery into the center of the base. The balloons are working through. The lava hounds are coming in. Strong carbon. This is going to be a good push through the bottom of the base with Tomas. Balloons coming in to take out those defenses. Going to need those spells to support as we push in towards that enemy archer queen. Yeah, he's going to have to fly his way around. Beautiful job, but the biggest thing and the biggest threat is the Eagle Artillery that is still standing in the core of this base. And oh my god, with the rage leading in, now we have to find a way to help take down that enemy queen. It's, everything's running right past the queen there. Oh no! And, oh man! They went right past the queen, right past the core of this base. Gonna have to do a full circle here, Carbon. That is a heartbreaker. And look at that, all the minions and pups are stuck on the king on the bottom side. So not gonna quite have enough. This is exactly what 11 original needed in this position. They needed that defense so that they can try to get back in the game. Another three star and we're back to even, Carbon. That core of that base was just not able to be taken down. Minions and pups working along the outside here still will have a shot at 90%, which is very respectable, but was just, just not able to get those balloons to go to the middle of the base. Yeah, it was unfortunate. There's just too much in that core. And that's one of the things you want to take down is those Eagle artilleries right away. As long as you can fly your way in, but they're just, the pathing wasn't there. And unfortunately, that did stay up. So that is going to be the first defense for 11 original. Eve Kale holding strong, but still, it's going to be in the 90% range right here. So Nova Esports are still in a great position to be taking this. 11 original pretty much have to like triple out to have their chance here. That's right, Carbon. Sorry, lost where I was. I thought we were coming back to Banks there, but I'm. We're going right into 11 Originals next attack. My apologies there. Uh, looks like we're going to have Eve Mania coming in with that next attack. We have a hybrid. This is more of a traditional hybrid. We have the healers for that queen charge. We have the miners. We have the hogs. And it looks like we have a blimp, maybe blimp in here to pull out some of those key defenses. Maybe a scatter shot here. Maybe uh, some other structures. Let's see where this blimp comes in, Carbon Finn. Yeah, we're going to have to see um, from the queen at the bottom side of this base. And he's still got the healer straight onto the queen. Some sneaky goblins to help grab the storages, which is a great use of them. So the queen doesn't get slowed down and also can help set the funnel a little bit. We're going to have to see it drops the rage to charge the queen in. Ground skellies can be a big problem, but really have to keep an eye on that queen and protect her from that single target inferno. And that, we got those balloons taking that single down, so the queen will be nice and healthy here. She's going to start working up towards that 3 o'clock side, and we're going to have that hybrid come in to cut her off and push her back towards the town hall here, Carbon. So the miners are coming in, pushing that queen back towards the town hall area. Hogs are going to come in behind that, but we still have that blimp. It'll be interesting to see where that blimp comes in late. Can Eve Mania here save it for that back end scatter shot, or will it be needed on the town hall? And it looks like it's gonna come in right for the town hall as we have that coming in with the warden's ability to protect it, to secure it, to get all the way there. Yeah, that rage for the queen into the core is big. 
the, the, but the blimp and taking the town hall is critical as well because then you can focus on the hybrid as it goes up and around the base with the lava hound popping it's going to be a, a big distraction for the royal champion and it's going to slow her down quite a bit it needs that momentum to the top side as everything is splitting off oh man but the queen is staying up which is going to be huge still has the queen ability here Queen's ability gets popped. The Royal Champion's working through here. That Queen is dealing damage, but that scatter shot, that back end scatter shot remaining up is just going to be so tough to get through here for these remaining miners. Everything's fading out, and this is not looking like what Eve Mania was hoping for. That last scatter shot proved to be way too strong. We do have a few miners, minions, Archer cleaning up, getting that percentage up here, but not going to be the three star that Eve needs. 11 original still going to need a three star trailing behind Nova. Nova has really good percentage as well. So this one's going to look like it's going to maybe get close to 80%, but definitely going to need a little bit more on their next attack. Yeah, with this Grand Warden, going to try to grab a bit more percentage and doesn't have much health. The Grand Warden's going to go down right there to the scatter shop with the Archer on the outside. And again, this is going to just going to be the two star for 11 original. Oh, man, I just they need to get it done. But Nova's been doing really well here. Eve Mania not managing to clutch up for 11 original right there. They had an opening and that was his time to do something big, to pull it out of the bag, to get that triple. And unfortunately, it just didn't happen. So Nova still in the driving seat. However, we have two more attacks apiece to go. So anything can happen. We've seen crazier things happen, haven't we, Bash? That's right. In this format, you never know what could happen. One big defense from 11 original, and they're right back in it. One big attack from 11 original, they're right back in it. But Nova's going to look to keep that pressure on and respond with a huge attack on their fourth coming in here. Looks like we're going to have Taytop coming in here with that next attack. This is going to be huge. This could really set the tone for the rest of the war. Yeah, we're going to have the Balloon and Yeti up top. Now take down this Mortar here. We're going to have to see the type of value with that Queen over at 9 o'clock. Healers are dropped on the left side of her here. And this Yeti can help clear the Archer Tower. And with the Yeti mice there, and the Queen is walking to the left. As the Queen is going down, Baby Dragon helps set this funnel. The Seeking Air Mine, which beautifully does not fly all the way across and won't hit those healers there. But that CC of the head is going directly for this queen. Doesn't have any wall breakers. Trying to get this queen to turn straight into the scatter. That's right. Trying to get her into there, but those headhunters are going to slow her down, and that scatter is firing away as this hound's going to pop. Those The headhunter's still slowing the queen. Headhunter does finally fall here. Going to bring in a support minion just to make sure that that queen can get these pups down with minimal damage and minimum time constraints here. The queen does have a nice alleyway to work in here, and that enemy queen might pull her through. There it goes. Queen pulls right on through. Did miss the queen, it looks like, with that range. Oh my goodness. Oh, barely oh. gets the queen down. And wow. there we go. Getting through to the scatter with the queen ability still intact carbon having that ability for later on in the attack is massive especially for a hybrid attack yeah absolutely now this queen's gonna help take care of that town hall she can reach the she can grab the town hall wizard tower expo grand warden platform plus keep the other expo on her that's gonna be huge value for the hybrid so they don't get damaged and she can even reach the bomb tower will she go there pops the ability super early here pops the Oh, the Warden ability. There's the Queen ability. Bomb Tower goes down. So now the Hybrid can push their way in. Was that Warden ability a little too early? We'll have to see once they push their way through the back side of the space. Still has two freezes. But look at that Expo. It is on the Queen, so it's not hitting the Hybrid portion. That's right. The Hybrid's going to have a nice push there. We got Hogs coming out of the Clay Castle. This is looking really strong with those freezes remaining. Freezes that scatter shot so that the freeze will not uh, make all those miners and heal or miners and hogs rather go down. Hogs pushing through that scatter shot, getting ready to go down. Last freeze goes in on that single target Inferno. We have the Royal Champion in there supporting the Queen. They're going to be able to get this single down. Oh my goodness, the oh, Royal Champion's ability gets wow. forced. Was trying to save it. Tons of hogs and miners still got a few defenses here. We got a few cannons, a few Teslas, but the Queen yep. is still really healthy. And the Royal Champion now has the healer's carbon. This is looking good for Taytop. Yeah, with that Royal Champion still up, gonna make her way all the way to the Wizard Tower, and there's gonna be plenty of time for the cleanup here. Look at that. The Queen's gonna help grab the bottom buildings down here, and there it is, Royal Champion, with just over 15 seconds, gets that three-star for Nova Esports. 
That's right. Nice three star from Nova Banks. That was a massive attack, but the pressure's all gonna be on 11 original coming into this next attack. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Uh, Carbon, we have to get a three star here from 11 and then they're gonna need defense on that remaining attack. This is such a wild war. Nova, the inner dogs coming in strong, putting that pressure on. That hybrid, that queen charge was massive going through the middle of that base. Yeah, it was a beautiful charge. Queen got so much value. The king and siege barracks set the funnel over on the top side, and the hybrid went right in between. The classic Amels got it done. Beautiful hit. And now 11 original are going to have to their own attack here. And they're going to be coming in with the classic Yeti smash. Seven Yetis, six bowlers. And the Grand Warden is over on this left side. It's going to take some time to help do it. But look at that town hall. It is all the way to the bottom side. But at this moment, they realize they have to go all out for the three stars and have to take all the risks. That's right. They, they're nothing to lose now. They have to get a triple here. Burak coming in with the Yetis. Looks like we're going to have that Warden block start up from the top side. Rage that Warden. Maybe trying to get to that scatter shot, which would be massive. If we can get that scatter shot down, that will be huge for this Warden walk, but may pull out the Clan Castle. Has to be careful here. If that Clan Castle comes out and it's Headhunters, it could force that Warden's ability early here, Carmen Fen. It's like we get the King coming through the bottom side, and then we'll be able to push right up into the middle. We have the Blimp selected most likely going to be able to take care of that town hall without any issues yeah he's going to have to uh, drop some balloons to try to protect these healers and then you're going to try to time everything with the blimp and yetis and bullets into the core to protect it so that goes to the town hall king did find the tesla farm but he goes down hopefully this doesn't, doesn't cause too many issues here as oh there's the heal there's the sinking air mine hits the healer blimp's going across still waiting out pops the ability here into the court ice golem lava hound does come out which is going to slow down this queen quite a a bit the blimp does make it to the town hall and it's gonna help take that down he's pushing his way through still as a road team and one more jump to use on the backside this is looking really strong through the middle here that town hall is going down we got the yetis out front but the spring trap getting rid of one of the yetis and the Ooh. other one goes down towards the teslas oh my goodness that spring trap was massive this one is fading out fast for barack it was looking really good until that spring trap and the yeti walks queen's gonna have a push through here and things are starting to look grim for 11 original. Nova Esports coming out strong. They knew what to do. They came out, they put the pressure from that first attack. 11 original, not able to bounce back, but still Whoa, pushing wait. through here. Queen, Kana, ability. Queen still has her ability. Queen. The healers are still alive. Oh, Queen's gonna stay up. Oh, oh my queen. goodness. Can she do it? He's got one headhunter to use. No, the queen, the healers are on the warden. No, oh. the healers, you need to transfer to the queen. Oh, the queen goes on Carbon Finn. This one had a chance there at the end, but just fizzles out with that queen. Oh my goodness, not having the queen up to deal with that scatter shot, the expo, and those two remaining archer towers. It would have been close either way, but not having the queen is gonna put the nail in the coffin for this attack for Burak. Oh my goodness, the drama on this war is immense as 11 original not able to respond. Nova bringing out those top defensive bases when it matters the most and clutching up on defense. Burak looking to get that 85% two star, not quite what 11 original was looking for on this attack. Burak not being able to come in clutch because we have an 85% two star again from 11 original, just not quite managing to punch through into that triple mark. Nova Esports coming out, swinging throughout this entire war, absolutely clutching up with three triples and only one, and only one dub, and only one two star. But it's 93%. Their average percentage is so high right now, Carbon. Yeah, 98% average destruction. They are threatening versus for Tang. And man, what a performance. Nova coming in and the two teams that have won from the winner's bracket have now just been uh, they have been eliminated pretty much because Nova coming in with those triples and 11 originals bases just have not been holding up here in the playoffs. And Nova really stepped up when they needed to. But like I said, we didn't expect or we weren't really expecting a ton from them. 11 original were the favorite, but 
they are coming in super strong on their attacks and they can really put this away with a three star there's no way actually with a two star here carbon they're going to put things away and make it so that 11 original will have no way to win this war at all so really can play it safe here and reacts coming in with that queen charge hybrid yeah gonna be using the queen here over at nine o'clock on the left side the king is gonna run down and around this base trying to force this queen straight into this compartment cannon will she go for the scatter shot next and she does she steps up straight into the scatter super wall breaker onto the wizard tower which is gonna help force this queen to the bottom towards the eagle artillery now and there is a multi, so it won't do too much damage, but the single is down south at six o'clock. Let's see the value that the queen can get. And oh, there's the CC. Gotta keep this queen alive through some of the headhunters. And there is a freeze perfectly, and the poison helped clear it. The freeze was used before those headhunters could get any shots off on the queen, which was a key use of that freeze. If you're gonna burn the freeze spell, you gotta make sure you use it before the queen takes any shots because it will slow her down. Those headhunters deal massive damage and slow down enemy heroes. We're gonna have that siege barracks coming in from the top side. Now we got those hogs and miners pushing right through the town hall. Remember, Nova can secure this with a free star here. Oh my goodness, Carbon, here we go. The Miners and Hogs push it right in to the Town Hall, and it looks like they should have no issue getting this Town Hall down. Warden ability is popped, oh. and the Rage spell, oh my goodness, it looked like they were gonna go past it for a second. Yeah, luckily the Miners helped activate the Town Hall there as he's pushing his way right and around the base. And the Royal Champion, there's the heal spell in there to try to heal them back up, but the Hogs are moving their way down. Doesn't, has only one more free spell to use, the wizards are up and around the base. They're gonna try to push their way around. Does he have enough miner, or not miner, he's got a few miners, but he's got a handful of hogs through here as well. There's a lot of troops still remaining. That Royal Champion does have her ability. She's held up there on the queen, or the king rather, and the hogs work it through, but we have a single and a multi-target Inferno, which is gonna be really tough for this Royal Champion to get through, especially with skeletons coming out. Free spell goes down to try to protect her, uses her ability to throw that shield, but she goes to the wizard tower. Can the warden assist? The warden assists getting oh, that single down. Carbon, wow. it's got a chance, but the what? defense is... Oh my goodness, it's so close, Carbon! Oh man, with only 20 seconds now left, two Teslas, this Grand Warden needs to take them down, has all these wizards down south, and it should be able to do it if he's got the time! The wizard is pushing through the minion, oh no, can he get there? There's the Tesla with the final, the storage! Bash, this is gonna be close, just only five seconds! It's looking really good, Carbon 3! So oh, no. what? Oh no, the 98% oh. two-star! Oh my goodness, not quite the three, but it was so close. Oh, I thought those wizards could pat, shoot right through that storage and the warden did not target the Tesla. The warden targeted the Tesla, perhaps had a chance, but not quite enough, but still Nova in the eSports, even Nova eSports in the driver's seat after that attack. Oh my, what an attack from React. Wow, another close attack there for Nova. They've just been putting everything on it. They got 13 stars and just incredible percentage nonetheless. In 11 original, they've got one final attack still to go in. It just was not their day here today, Bash. Yeah, just not quite. Oh, man. Perhaps the Nova was saving those better bases for the day three for that final. And it, it showed to be too much for Eve. They weren't able to get through their defenses of Nova and Nova was able to crack those 11 original bases really strongly here. And here we go, we got the last attack coming in from Eve Mark. It looks like we have a Lalo, uh, no Zaps, and we do have a Queen Walk. So more of a traditional Queen Charge, Queen Walk, Lalo here from Eve Mark. Yeah, does use the Queen on the outside and only taking the one Lava Hound, trying to use that to help Try to push his way through, but I'm looking at the way the sweepers are since they're pointing from one's pointing towards one and the other pointing towards four. The Lalo should come from the top side around the base. Royal Champion's gonna be able to help grab the scatter shot through here. And there's the poison spell. Gonna help take down the headhunter and doing some work to the to the queen here. And the king is not able to take the single target inferno down down at the bottom side of the base, unfortunately. He just gets stalled out. It is a full 
off Tesla. For not Tesla, a single target Inferno. There is the rage for the queen, but oh man, there's got whacked by the Eagle Artillery right there. Those healers took massive damage, and it looks like the pups finishing off a few of them. It'll only a couple healers remaining, and that is going to make that queen charge really tough to get through the remaining portions of the space. Oh. Not quite what Eve Mark was looking for, as that queen has to force her ability out, and she's going over to the king now. We have the Lava Hound and the Balloons pushing towards that Town Hall. Oh. The World Champion is going to get the Queen down, but is this going to have enough to get through this bottom phase of, or bottom portion of this base, Brother Carbon? No, unfortunately, that Queen and the Healers got picked up way too quick there, and they're avoiding the Town Hall! Oh no! Oh no! The Town Hall! Oh, when Nothing one activated the Town oh. Hall, Carbon. A there few balloons do come back. Warden ability. Luckily, that sweeper pushing some troops backwards, but man, with no haste, no, not much spells. There is one freeze, and those balloons taking massive damage. This one looks to be about over for Eve Mark. Not quite what he was looking for. That scatter shot is going to do massive damage as these balloons are all clumping in one area. They, they're all going to get hit by the scatter shot. Oh my goodness, Carbon! Look at this damage being dealt wow. now. Oh, how unfortunate. Not able to push his way through. Really was relying on that queen to get all the value into the base and just fell short. Oh, the, the queen, the healers got locked down to the eagle artillery and they took massive amount of damage and they went down. Plus any of the red air bombs could easily clear them. And that's just 11 original. Just wasn't their day here today in the playoffs. Yeah, Nova's base is too strong for 11 original. Their attacks not able to work the way they wanted to. Lots of things did not go to plan here. We have that last minion cleaning up here to get to the 68% two star. Eve Mark did have that triple in the previous war, but falling short here. Although the war was already over, you definitely want to go out with your head held high. And there we go, a two star 68% to finish off for 11 original. A tough pill to swallow for 11 original coming up so close, but not quite enough. 13 stars to 11 for Nova Esports with that percentage average of 98.2%, one of the highest percentage averages we've seen in this entire qualifier. What an incredible performance from Nova Esports. Let's take a look at these stats, Carbon.